Good morning, YouTube. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Let me start by wishing you all a happy new year. It's been a while. Happy new year to you and your families. I hope, uh, I know 2023 is going to be a much, much better year for all of us. And I look forward to a very successful 2023. So today, um, I had to run my generator, something I've not done in a while. Yesterday, uh, the battery zone charged 80%. So let me see what's happening right now. It's a little after seven. And let's go and take a look and see what's coming. So I have 7,500 watts in final. PV1 is only showing eight watts at this time of the day. And then let's see what PV2 is doing. PV2 is showing 12 watts. Hopefully you can see it. Yep, 12 watts. So this time of year is a little bit of a challenge. It's pretty warm. The reason it's warm is because, um, well, besides global warming, there's a lot of dust particles trapped between us and the sun. So that creates a superheated environment for us. And two, uh, the solstices and equinoxes, you know, the placement of the sun relative to the earth. So the angles are wrong and we're not getting as much um, we're not getting as much direct sunshine as we would and finally I'll show you the last part so let me pause this and step outside this time of year is referred to as Hamatan or our dry season uh, for those of you who don't know what it is I'll post a comment I'll post something in the description and you go take a look so these cars were recently washed and you could see the amount of dust on them this one is a daily driver and you can see the amount of dust on it. So you can imagine our solar panels that we've not, been, we've not touched in quite a while, what they look like. And you can imagine all that dust, what impact it has on our performance. So I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to climb on the roof, and I'll show you what, I'll show you what um, it looks like. I'll show you what's involved in doing maintenance and maybe I'll show you the difference. I'll do one string. I'll show you the difference between that string and the other to see if cleaning it makes a difference. So, be right back. Stand back. So, I'm on the roof of the build of my... Well, I'm on the roof where we have the solar panels. And I'm not sure if this can capture how bad it looks or how filthy the panels are. So, let me get a little closer. You can see the edges. one here is really disgusting but you, know, you can tell me that this does not make a difference this does not impact the performance of my panel it definitely does you can see bird feet so what I'm going to do now is I'll clean this set here so let me see, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here, these two here, with these, I'll clean those. This gives us, um, these are the 400 watt panels, so nine times four, 3600. And then those are the 380. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 of those. So that's 3800. So 3800, 3800 watts over there. And so let me point so you can see. So this is 3,800 watts. And then here is... Uh, 3,600. So give me a second, I'll get my tools. All I need, and once I set up, I'll show you. All I need is a mop and water. So I'll have two buckets of water. One has clean water and the other has... Um, well, they both have clean water. I'll dip the mop in the clean one. In the initial one, when I finish wiping, I'll come back and dip the same mop in the clean one that I've not used to go over it a second time. So let me start. So you've seen what it looks like now. Once I'm done, I'll take a picture and show you. But let me show you the tools I'll be using. Um, as you can see, it's pretty hazy. There's nothing going on. That's the sky. It's pretty hazy. So I'm not expecting to see much at this time of day. With this level of haze, So here are, that's my mop, 
and the two buckets I've been using. So let me get started and I will, uh, I'll be back. Here's the plan. My mop, dip it into the bucket, and then it just go like that. Not really, nothing really complicated. So here it is. I'm sure you can see the difference. So one of the things you need to pay extra attention to is when you're washing, when you're washing them, all the dirt will come and settle here. So be extra careful, as you can see here, they've poured multiple uh, buckets of water, no, well not buckets, but multiple uh, containers of water on it. The dirt always settles towards the corner. So make sure you get those because that's part of what causes these. You see what's here? Same thing, as you see there's slight disc discoloration on this end and that's what's causing the discoloration. discoloration. So just make, pay special attention to the edge as the dirt washes off that you don't have the dirt settling in this corner here. Okay, so let me show you um, what the other side I'm not seeing this light. And then we'll go, there, we'll go and check to see what the production looks like. Let's see that's what that's the difference between this. And that's what I'm going to see. Let me start to zoom in a little bit. You see that? And then what is this here? It's a big difference, right? Looks much better. So we're going to go, so they are still very wet, so they will look like if they're clean. As they dry up, you see a little bit of a film, still a little bit of dirt, but substantial improvement relative to here. But it has a train. Let me see if you can see the train. It has a train going to battle. So I'm riding that train next week. Sorry, uh, to rest or whatever it is you call people who suffer from ADD or whatever it is. Okay, so here we go. Um, We've cleaned all these. We've also cleaned this stuff. So that's uh, that string that has 10 panels has not been cleaned yet. So we'll go check to see the difference in production from this one that's clean to that one that's not clean. So for those of you that are counting, you're actually counting 10. Okay, but one of those panels there is powering a small system and it's a 300 watt panel. These are these are 400 watt panels. So there are 10 and 10. So I have a, is it 20 panels, yes. 20 panels on this roof. But I'm using 19 to power my system, power my house, and then the other one is going to power the lights outside and the voice box. So I'll be right back, let me go downstairs, take a look, and then we'll see what difference uh, washing of this has made compared to that one that hasn't been washed. Be right back. So I'm back. What do you think the result of this? So let's look at PV1. PV1 is the string that did not clean. You see the voltage 373, 253 coming from 253 watts coming from it, right? Let's look at PV2. Look at that, 341. Look at the, look at the, look at what's coming. Almost double, right? So that's what that's why it's important to clean your panels. That little difference. I mean, we're we are seeing what a 40% differential. Okay, that 40% is the difference between your batteries being fully charged and your batteries not being fully charged. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have to subscribe, please click the subscribe button once again. This is Dr. Sola wishing you and your family a happy new year. Thank you for watching.